Hello everybody, welcome back to Dishing with Dush. Today, I'm going to be sharing one of my childhood favorites. And honestly, this bordered on a guilty pleasure for me. And every time I would come home from school, I would expect to find this waiting at my grandma's table. And it was a pumpkin curry that was made by her cook, Roman. And honestly, I was so addicted to this that I had to learn it from him. And then when he finally decided to share it with me, my mind was blown because this is unbelievably simple and given the umami of this dish and the savoriness that just lingers in your mouth it's really unbelievably so pleasing and all you need is some steamed rice or some white bread to just dip in or soak up and your soul is going to be satisfied i promise you so let's see how this is done so you need a small pumpkin. We're not going to use this whole baby right here. We will cut up about 500 grams. That's about. And we're also going to, mind you, keep the skin on for this dish. And that was something which I found strange because in our home, um, not at my grandma's, uh, we would never eat the skins, but Roman always left it on. And now I cannot imagine having pumpkin any other way. So, yeah, that's about 500 grams. And just cube it up. You can sort of follow the natural ridges of the pumpkin. And, and luckily I didn't have to clean out too much pulp in this one, but if you do, don't throw it away. It's really great pet food, so you can mix it in with your doggies or kitties lunch. If you give them rice, of course. As most people do in Sri Lanka. Because <laughs> our pets are rice and curry folks too. <laughs> right. And once we got this chopped up, get a big enough bowl. And what we're gonna do now is, well, you need to find your favorite spice mix off the shelf. It doesn't matter what brand it is. I really like using this meat curry uh, mix, which is what Roman used and this exact same brand. But you could use a biryani mix or a korma or anything that has a really robust complex mix of spices that's ready to go. So keep in mind, if you are gonna make this for kids, this does bought a bit on the spicy side, so use a mix that you're familiar with that has the spice level that you need. This one is very spicy. <laughs> and we're gonna use about 100 grams, no, about 50 grams. And just give it a good mix. And if it's not adhering to the pumpkin, you can just give it a little splash of water. And just gonna leave it in there for just a couple of minutes. And believe it or not, <laughs> this is basically all the work you need to do in this dish. And once you're done evenly coating them, get your stove up and running. You can keep it on a relatively high-ish flame. And put about two tablespoons of vegetable oil. You can use oil of your choice. It could be coconut oil, vegetable oil. It really doesn't matter for this. I mean, honestly, this is hardly a recipe. This is <laughs> basically a kitchen hack, in my opinion. So once your oil gets going and it's warmed up, don't let it smoke. That means it's too hot, I think. Now, just plop all your beautiful pieces of pumpkin in. If there's excess uh, mix, leave it in the bowl for now. We'll add it in a bit later. And just cook it until it starts to smell beautiful. And you should ideally take off the raw edge of the spices just a little bit. Oh, it smells beautiful. 
And what's amazing, it smells like you cooked something really complicated, but this is so unbelievably simple. I mean, and I think pumpkin really is underrated. It is one of the best superfoods you can eat. It has so much antioxidants. It is super cheap, at least here in Sri Lanka. And uh, honestly, I don't know why people don't eat it more. And now, before you start sneezing, we're gonna add about 500 milliliters of water. And we just let it cook until you can drive a knife through your pumpkin with just enough resistance where it doesn't mulch up, but you can pass it through without having to force it. Yeah. While this cooks, just carry on doing your other stuff in the kitchen. And that's the great thing about this dish because it is so forgiving on time. And if you are ever in a bind, this is really a go-to dish. You will probably need to cook this for about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how high your flame is. I'm just doing it on a high flame throughout. If, it, if most of the water has started evaporating, you can give it another splash, maybe another 250 ml. I mean, it's still good. It's not quite there yet. So when your pumpkins start to lose the sharp edge from you know the cubes you've cut, that's kind of a sign for when to add our coconut milk. And we're gonna use about 50 ml of coconut, well, this is almost coconut cream. So if it's this thick, 50 ml will do. If not, you could use about 100 ml of thick coconut milk. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check for salt in just a little bit because with these ready-mixed spices, one thing you have to be mindful is a lot of them come pre-salted with the salt mixed in. So don't go ahead and just start salting your dish until it's cooked down a little bit, because uh, you can end up over-salting it. So we do it right at the end of this one. Unless you know for a fact there's no salt in that mix. I mean, this is looking beautiful, but it's just a little too thick for me. So I'm gonna thin it out with some water. Just a little splash. And cook it here for maybe another two minutes. And guess what? We're done. But like I said, taste for salt. Yeah, so this has absolutely no salt. So we do need to salt this one. Um, well, I like using my hands, so. Generous sprinkling of salt. and I'm gonna turn off my stove. Now this heat was just a little bit too intense for the coconut cream and there's a little bit of splitting, but don't worry, it doesn't affect the taste at all. <laughs> That's what I remember. What we're gonna do now, <clears throat> just dish it up. Pour it into your serving bowl. And that's it. Honestly, was that not the easiest curry that you've ever seen made in your entire life? I mean, it's almost embarrassing to call it a recipe because it's that easy. So actually, I, I think I followed my intuition and it was off this time. Uh, this was a bit too much spice. You could literally just use a quarter of the packet because uh, I have a ton of it left over. So you just need just about enough to coat all the pumpkin and that's it. So save your spice mix for another time and don't go crazy. So this I'm gonna keep for maybe a meat curry, but I can't wait anymore because I think it's time to revisit my childhood uh, with some good old this is, for me, the food of gods. Like. Oh, what do you know? I had a bread knife. <laughs> I gotta eat something else. Oh. 
and the gravy is honestly the best part. So I want to make sure I get plenty of that. And you literally have a belly filling meal in about 15 minutes. And I'm gonna see if I did Roman proud. Man, I'm not even joking. I could drink that. It is out of this world. And it's unbelievable given how simple it is, really. So I hope you really do try this dish out. If you haven't tried any of my recipes, this is really the one to do because so how easy it is. So I will catch you again with another episode on Dishing with Dish. Please do subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. I'll see you soon. Take care.